Hey, hi everyone. This is Animesh once again, and welcome to my channel. This is a new blog that I have started. This is middlewareworld.org, and I got so many requests to upload a video on installation of IBM Connect Direct in a silent mode. So, guys, feel free to go through my blog and feel free to subscribe for more updates. I'll be regularly updating this blog with further updates for. IBM MQ, uh, Connect Direct, and many other middleware products. All right, so stay tuned. So let's go through the steps for installing Connect Direct silently. There are two modes of installation, as is a standard for all products interactive mode, which I have already uploaded a video. You can click on this link to go through that. I'm going to Put that link on top of my video it's it's being flushed now and there is a silent mode as well now let's go through the silent mode steps the steps are pretty straightforward and simple and quick but most importantly like all other IBM products we have to understand properly each and every step so as mentioned earlier as well you need a passport advantage account to download connect direct it's not free all ibm products are proprietary and the installer comes with these scripts which unfortunately i cannot publish as per the guidelines from ibm copyright so cd install underscore a that is a silent installer script cd install script that is the base of all installation i mean in interactive mode also you use this installer cpio file this is nothing but the archive or the installer connect direct installer uh, that is the archive okay that gets exploded during installation key certificate file now one thing to note here is that for silent installation you need to provide the key certificate file because secure plus has to be configured in connect direct uh, uh, when when you are installing silently so key certificate you definitely need to provide I have given the link over here I'll be putting all these links down uh, in un under this video as well so that you can uh, just uh, click and go to my github so if you go here right if you click on here you can directly go to my github repo and grab the key certificate if you're not comfortable to generate all right, the netmap configuration file, netmap configuration and user configuration. These are uh, the base of the configuration files for Connect Direct. Now, these are not mandatory during silent installation. You can skip those. So what will happen is it will be a vanilla install. Connect Direct will not be installed with the required configuration. But when you go in production environment, definitely you will need these configurations because silent installation is normally done to push the installation in a plenty of servers so that your job becomes easy, right? So definitely if you do the vanilla installation, that doesn't help. So I would definitely recommend you to put these files when you follow along with me. So netmap configuration file and user configuration file. I have given some demo files in my GitHub repo. So you can go through that and you can use those same things but i will not go in detail uh, about validation of the install and all those things uh, because this is mainly i'm focusing on the silent installation part uh, the installation configuration transferring files i have uploaded other videos in my channel so go feel free to go through that i'll i'll, I'll put them in the description links all right now the most important options file this is nothing but the silent installation response file where you key in all the parameters and few of the parameters has to be custom and has to be defined according to your environment i have specifically mentioned what are the parameters that needs to be that needs to be uh, tweaked or that needs to be changed i have i have uploaded this same file that i use in my environment here but feel free to change those parameters which needs to be changed you know to work in your environment all right that's it and then place all those files in one place and trigger the install that's it it's as simple as that 
okay so let's let's go through the steps uh, guys here is the thing I have put all the files here I have the CD install CD install which is the base script for all installations then CD install underscore a which is the silent installer uh, okay let's go through this file in this file you have to make sure that the silent installation file right that options file it's of the correct name that you are using and along with that not much change is required but yeah the logs the the installation directory the the log file the installation log file and all those things you can customize you can direct it to your preferred directory those are fine but mostly IBM scripts are pretty standard and pretty straightforward you can use them directly uh, CD install you don't really need to touch it you can customize the CD install underscore a as I mentioned SP cast file this is the secure plus customization file now there is a difference between our secure plus customization file that we used before while installing and configuring secure plus basically while configuring the secure plus using the spcli.sh uh, command line tool you know so here we are not talking about the script that comes with the connect direct installer but we are just taking the commands only don't use the script because that will not work with the silent installation that is something to note so you just have to key in the commands like sync netmap then import key cert import trusted cert uh, this is commented in my case i'm not using any trusted cert then update the local node display that's it i mean only the spcli commands it's not a shell script point to be noted okay all right then put the key cert which consists of which i just showed you this, this is the same file that i have in my git repo and the cert uh, cert is not required because i have keyed in the cert in the same file user config file netmap file and this is the installer or the cpio file okay and the options file so options file the the trace is on uh, this is the installer command we have three commands like we can opt for install remove or update then cpio file installation directory all these things you can customize according to your needs your local node name server port client port client port is the api port uh, certificate key cert file the password that can be used while uh, the password that needs to be used uh, and that's it then this is the admin user ID which is the admin ID for your connect direct in your local node and that's it you just invoke the command minus F this is for the file for the silent file response file and that's it so guys this will take around uh, two to three minutes I'll pause the video for a while and then I will resume back all right I've resumed the video so the installation is now complete so let's look at the result first thing to look at is the log file and if you open the log you can see that it has parsed all the parameters that we passed and after parsing it's going into the installer yep so you can see this same thing comes when you are doing an interactive mode install now it's getting all the parameters and it's displaying all the options so everything is happening internally and it's just logging so validating cpio installation file uh yep and going into the connect direct customization cd cast and this is the init param this is the default file we have not specified that but yeah netmap config and this one all is provided user config file so this are the ones which are being provided it's taking all the parameters by default we 
exiting customization procedure now yep now it's going into the install secure plus it's going into the secure plus and it's all the power. I'm not going line by line but you can go through line by line in your system yeah so these are all the ciphers that we have specified and this is the C uh, connect direct uh, secure plus customization and yes I think the okay hold on before that right uh, okay yeah so you can see this is the secure plus installation output zero errors as I mentioned before as well in my previous videos that warnings you can ignore so zero errors means we are good so configs SP means config secure plus exited now it's trying to verify verify installation so when it's doing a verification of install it's it's trying to oh it's all also trying to send a a file send a sample file uh, so yeah here it shows as failed the reason is uh, I'll, I'll show you so now till this point in time the connect direct base installation secure plus installation configuration everything is complete but the sending of the file failed and the reason is if we see the our uh, netmap configuration file right so it has a remote node now my remote node is down so that's why it, it was not able to send the file to the remote node yeah so that's it our installation is done we can verify inside uh, our uh, directory home control and inside that cd unix this is this was our install location so we can see that it has been installed and <clears throat> by default while verifying the installation it will start the process as well so you can see it started uh, so yep that's it and uh, thank you once again for watching if you have any questions doubts concerns feel free to comment uh, uh, below and also feel free to watch my blog and subscribe to to my blog uh, middlewareworld.org and to get further updates thank you once again goodbye